Ray Pollock of the Pollock Report, day three of the Pollock Report road trip. The Oaklawn Diaries, I'm here with John Scheinman. It's Rebel Stakes morning, the excitement's in the air, the crowd is piling in hours before the first race. It's going to be a big day at Oaklawn Park. The big question in everybody's mind, will the Rebel Stakes be a three-peat for Bob Baffert, who won it two years ago with looking at Lucky, and he won last year with the Factor. Today he's got Secret Circle, the favorite, who, who won a division of the Southwest Stakes. John, what do you think? I mean, boy, remember when the, when the factor came in here and just blew him away? And I guess Baffert was just thinking, you know, he can just make lightning strike twice, and he's really done no wrong at the Santa, meet, at Santa Anita meet. He's just cleaned up out there with fast horses. Baffert is loaded. But f something is telling me that Secret Circle is not going to get the job done today in this 12-horse field. Um, I don't know why... A horse out of Eddington, out of a Dixieland band mare, should have distance limitations. Right. But everything points to Secret Circle having distance li limitations. Baffert seems to kind of hint that, that they don't know how far he can go. He's not projecting a lot of confidence about this horse's distance. He certainly showed his hand last year when he ran the horse and won in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Sprint right. instead of going to the Juvenile. He might have been saying super fast horse. And he is a very right. compact horse. I think there's going to be a different pace and pressure scenario for him. I don't think he's going to get the job done today, but he is the fastest horse in the so field. So we're going to draw a line through Secret Circle? Who uh, are you, he might well, who hit are you the board. Gonna, what, who's the horse you're going to circle in your, in your racing form? I'm 0 for 2 here on the uh, Oaklawn Diaries, which is just pathetic. We did have an excuse yesterday, by, by the way, with Scott, Scott Baby, who, who ran into a horrible pace scenario. I would put that one on your stable mail and bet back. Right. However, I do, I would, if I hit one race, I go out of here 1 for 3. You hit 33%, you're doing pretty good. It's a Hall of Fame career. And I, I'm gutsy. I'm gutsy, yep. and I'm going to take what's one of the longest shots on the board here in this Rebel, and that's Kenny McPeak's Adagon. Okay. This horse, to me, is, is coming to this race perfectly. He's coming off a January mile and the 16th route race here at Oaklawn right. Park where he scored against a very nice allowance field. His race prior to that was last fall when he ran just five lengths behind Gemologist in the grade two Kentucky Jockey well, we Club. we saw what Gemologist did yesterday at, Go at Gulfstream Park. He, he came back in an allowance race. And he devastated right. Currency Swap who was yeah. undefeated and won the grade one hopeful. Right. Um, granted that he got away with a beautiful pace scenario set up there and um, the race as they did last year at Gulfstream Park for Uncle Mo was written exclusively for Todd Pletcher and he bailed out of the rebel for some reason yeah. to run there so he looked very good but really how good was it i don't know i like horses to be battle tested battle tested going into the kentucky derby i don't know if gemologist will be however to me it says gemologist is a good horse to me i think adagon is a good horse he's won two out of three he's one at the distance he's one at the track the speed figure's light but i like that he he didn't run in that whole southwest right. gang mcpeak said we're training up from our january race i think he's going to score here at a price and that's a John Ed Anthony horse, short leaf stable, local guy. What kind of price are you looking for? Well, I think that might hurt our price if okay. John has uh, been talking a lot. And McPeak has been talking a lot. He's been tweeting about this horse. He made some comments in the press that he thinks this is a triple crown horse. But if I can get the 12 to 1, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unload. Adigan, with confidence. Adigan in the Rebel Stakes, John Adigan, maybe. I don't know. Adigan. We'll find <laughs> out when they announce him in the winner's circle. All right. Thank you, John.